We have a breaking news update live at 10. Neighbors back in their homes tonight after a chemical spill on Oshkosh's south side. The leak happened around 1 o'clock this afternoon at Hydrite Chemical, forcing people in this area to evacuate. Tonight, those around the plant say they're concerned for their safety after two similar incidents over the years. NBC 26's Alex Hagan joins us live at 10 with more. Stacy, the most dangerous accident was in 2000. 700 homes evacuated for four days when a boxcar caught fire near Hydrite Chemical. Another spill in 2002. And now today's leak have neighbors questioning their safety. For several hours on the south side of Oshkosh, roads blocked off. Neighbors either told to evacuate or stay in their homes with doors and windows shut after a spill at Hydrite Chemical. It's too bad it's that close. For Audrey Gorwitz, not her first scare. She and her Oregon Street neighbors dealt with the last spill in 2002 when 117 homes were evacuated for three hours. Matter of three city blocks down. Bob Bacon. We're aware of it. We're conscious of it. Concerned for his safety tonight after the third accident at the facility. It is a chemical plant. Been around for a long time and uh, we kind of know it coming in. Today, a 7,000 gallon tank leaks muriatic acid, a very harmful chemical. It's an acid and it, um, it, is, it causes respiratory issues if you breathe it in. Oshkosh police and fire departments sprung into action with neighbors' health as their first priority. Whenever you have something like this, um, it can turn extremely ugly very, very quickly. Luckily, first responders had the spill contained in about two hours. Well taken care of, and they certainly had enough police and other people. As this mess could have ended much worse. Now, there were no injuries reported, and Hydrite Chemical is not commenting on the incident, but the Oshkosh Fire Department tells us they do training with the company to prepare for these situations. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.